in terms of patients, the accuracy of this system allows therefore uh, safe delivery. Now, at the same time, because the scan is done each day on the same machine, you do not then have to put the patient through a CT scanner and then come back to this treatment machine. In that way, you actually would lose uh, accuracy because the position has shifted. In tomotherapy, everything is done in the same position, just one uh, um, uh, setup, and from the time of scanning to ascertain the position to treatment time can vary between, uh, between 15 minutes to about 20 or 30 minutes. So it's actually very convenient and uh, comfortable for patient as well. What this then translates into would be uh, confidence of uh, the doctors in allowing for very tight um, delivery between high doses and low doses. High doses in the tumour, low doses in the uh, surrounding neighbouring structures. Because you have a scanner to, to ascertain that you're accurate every day. Now, if this was not so in a conventional system without the facility for a CT scan verification, then what normally is done is that you allow for a bigger margin of normal tissue uh, around this tumour to be in that high dose area so that you will not miss the target each day uh, to take into account of patient movement, set up variation per day. So indeed, the patient finds that uh, using this system, they would cut down on the side effects, increase the chance of control, and doctors also could ascertain that what they are delivering every day is in the right spot. This is nasopharyngeal cancer, and this is the first time we are treating the patient, a newly diagnosed nasopharyngeal cancer. And what we are seeing now is this. We are superimposing two scans. The first scan which was before the radiation treatment. So we planned this one, which is delineated with a grey outline. This part of the scan and this part of the scan. And what we have done is that we have superimposed another scan, which is a daily treatment scan. And in this case, we have shaded yellow to place on top of each other. And then we can match it to see whether we are in the right location or not. And what we have seen in this case is this. If you look at the grey scale, the grey scan, this is actually where the nasopharyngeal cancer, the tumour at the back of the nose, you can see that this is actually very thick. Now, this is about three weeks down where we are delivering radiation. And in this particular scan, when we compare it, you can see actually that it is actually much uh, thinner. And so the tumour has shrunk. And we can now see actually with our own eyes on CT scan when the tumour starts shrinking. So we got very excited over this. When there is organ term movement, for example in the lung, right? in this case we were actually treating small lesions that have spread to the lung. The other areas in other parts of the body the cancer was well controlled except one tumour here and another tumour in the lung here. Um, when we employ tomotherapy, we could make sure that each day that tumour is encompassed within your high dose area despite the fact that the tumour may move uh, um, with respect to respiration. And uh, in this case, we could actually also see that uh, the tumour was shrinking during treatment itself. Uh, you may not be able to see it very closely, but if you look at the two scans again, the grayscale being the initial scan before radiation, and the scan that we've superimposed on it during the treatment, which is this green shaded area, you can faintly maybe make out that this gray area was originally so big. And then when we've treated during treatment, it's shrunk down to just this small size here. By and large, the principle is that it is safe because we are reducing the dose to the surrounding normal tissue, uh, which are sensitive, and such like um, the optic nerves, brain tissue, the brain stem, spinal cord, lung tissue, neighbouring kidneys or rectum in the case of prostate cancers. These are critical areas where radiation doses uh, would create a lot of um, side effects by the time they reach a dose 
that is enough to control the tumor. So what we would do is actually to, to deflect, inverted commas, deflect the radiation away from these neighboring sensitive organs to distal areas such as skin, such as muscles and other less critical areas which can tolerate the radiation better. So it is unlike conventional radiation where you see quite a lot of side effects close to the uh, tumor itself and uh, from the uh, um, path of the radiation. In terms of the long-term sequelae, the long-term side effects, it is much less uh, because you are now spreading a lot of this radiation, shed it with a larger area of normal tissue uh, and so they are generally in a lower dose area so the side effects in long-term situations are much less.